what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today we have something delicious on the menu coconut curry lobster and shrimp with cassava dumplings that's right get your pot ready the first thing you want to do is have your pot boiling before you start now let's get into our ingredients of course we have our three curries we got onion scallion thyme a pound of raw shrimp and two lobster tails Next up, we have our cassava flour with two cups of water. If you're looking for that, it's on my Amazon storefront. We have a few sprigs of thyme. This is just one scallion that's chopped up and this is half of an onion. We got our special madras Indian curry, betta pak curry, and chief's curry. You don't have to mix all, it's just a preference. We also have five tablespoons of corn oil and about half a cup of coconut milk. Next up, we have minced garlic. We have our green seasoning. Recipe for that is in the description box here on my channel. We have fish seasoning from Maggie. Next up, we have our Jamaican choice seafood seasoning. I love this seasoning. Purchase it on my Amazon storefront. I promise you won't regret it. Next up, we have our onion powder. You can use real onions or you can use onion powder, it's up to you. Minced garlic, we're only gonna use about a small spoonful. Next up we have adobo, all-purpose seasoning. And the first thing we wanna do when we're starting to season up is add our green seasoning. I'm only putting about two tablespoons of this. Next up, we are going to add all-purpose seasoning, just a teaspoon. You wanna go really light on the seasoning. Next up, just half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of the fish seasoning, and half a teaspoon of that seafood seasoning. Now you're gonna mix it all up. Make sure the ingredients are nicely rubbed up together. Next, we have our cassava flour. Now you can purchase this in the stores. I couldn't find it in the store, so I bought it on Amazon. We are only going to use two cups of this cassava flour. The dumplings that you make from these are going to be really soft. They're super, super gummy, but they also have a very, very, very light grainy texture to it so if that's not your jam just use regular all-purpose flour next we're going to use one and three fourth cups of water we're going to slowly put it in and begin to knead the flour now this flour is very different from all-purpose flour it's kind of cakey and um, it really comes together very quickly. That's what I like about it. And all I did was just roll it into a ball and cut it into triangles. You can cut these into triangles, squares, whichever you prefer, or you can just make little balls from it and that's also fine. So I just rolled it into a ball, I smashed it down, I used a knife and I cut nicely perfect triangles, that's just me my preference and now I'm going to put them inside our pot of boiling water make sure you do this step before you do the seafood because this will take about 20 minutes you want all your food to be ready at the same time give it a little stir because you don't want these to stick together in the pot so make sure every so often you just give it a gentle stir next up you put your oil this is really on about a medium flame and I want you to use a total of 12 tablespoons of curry powder next you're going to just toast it by stirring it around in the pot your flame is on medium you can use whatever curry powder you prefer go ahead and add your onion your scallion and your thyme as well as two tablespoons of minced garlic Keep sauteing that. What you're doing is bringing out all of the flavors. Add your half a cup of coconut milk. Now start to season up your curry. You're going to add a teaspoon of everything you used to season the seafood. So a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, a teaspoon of fish seasoning, seafood seasoning, your onion powder, everything you need in here. Next up, you are going to get your water and you're going to add a cup of water. Now, you have to cook this curry first 
So cook it for 15 minutes and now you can add your seafood. Go ahead, put your lobster, put your shrimp. You don't have to put lobster in there if you don't want to. This recipe can work as well just without the lobster. There's a little bit of seasoning left over in the pot, so go ahead and add that. You want to mix it all around. Go ahead and make sure all of that seasoning gets on to the seafood. And this doesn't take long to cook either. So all I'm doing is just drizzling a little bit of that curry sauce on top. We're gonna cover this and let it cook for 15 minutes. And now let's check up on our cassava dumplings. Look at them. They turn a little dark color when they're ready. And now your seafood is ready as well. So now we got our dumplings and our seafood ready at the same time. Here's our shrimp. Your shrimp should be a closed sea, just like that. And we are ready to eat. Take a look at this beauty. Mm, and it smells amazing. I just put a little scotch bonnet on top because I like a little heat to mine. Make sure you subscribe.